When's your birthday? July 3rd. <gasps> You're a cancer. <laughs> so? So, I'm a Virgo. Cancer and Virgo are like, What's wrong? I just... I just hate all that shit. What shit? All that astrology shit. You hate astrology? <laughs> Forget it. No, hold on. <laughs> Forget it. I'm just... I've never heard of someone, like, hating astrology before. You're right. I love astrology. Have you ever looked yourself up? Yes. And? It was pretty accurate. It's fucking cool, right? It's a parlor trick. What do you mean? I mean, it uses vague, open-ended statements, and when you have enough of them, it's true for basically every person on this planet. Mine wasn't vague? No. Uh, no. It was actually, like, creepy how accurate it is. Well, does it tell you your blood type? Or your genetic disposition for dementia? No. Serving others, physical fitness, perfectionist, hypochondriac. I mean, it is like, it is me. I'm like all of my friends. Oh. Like, okay, I have this friend, Natalie, who like works with clay. Jesus. And sculpting all this stuff. Okay, who cares? It's not like I'm playing my life around. Yeah, no one cares. That's the fucking problem. No one cares about anything. It's like, like we discovered that the earth is round and it's like we've been on this slow, steady descent back to that point ever since Friends aired. How can you believe in something that's so full of holes? It's like have some fucking conviction. Pretty sure about all this, huh? I mean, yes. It's all bullshit. Basically, yeah. Yeah, how do you know? I mean, well, there's science. Science. Hmm. Never heard of that before. What is that? <laughs> Whatever. No. No. Please. Hey, guys. No. Stop. Guys. Stop. Uh, this this guy. He just told me about science. Have you heard of it? Yeah, I'll teach you some science. <laughs> yeah. How about some biology? <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Thanks. No. Thank you. Science. <laughs> Whatever. I think I'm pretty stupid, huh? What? Irrational. I never said that. Come on, Anton. Have a little conviction. <sighs> All right, look. We're sort of drunk, okay? We're sort of getting to know each other. I think there's some miscommunication. Don't touch me. Right. I should have known. On what? This. All this shit. What the fuck does that mean? It means I should have known that this would happen when I looked at your basic fucking profile. Like, come on, wine, pizza, traveling, PR. You know, normally I would swipe left on any of that shit, but you're really hot, so I thought maybe she's different. This always fucking happens. It does, huh? Yeah, if I had a dime for every time some idiot asked me what my goddamn star sign was, I could fly the fuck out of here business class. All right. Wait. Why? Shut up. You know, you really hurt my feelings just now. Which is weird because you don't know anything about me. And I was having a good time with you. I was. Astrology is fun. You know, it's just something to talk about. It's a way in. It's a way to get to know somebody. 
mean, who gives a shit if it's real? People are real. And when you hide behind an easy argument to make others feel small, you make yourself look like an asshole. You don't think I've had this argument before? This exact argument? I work in pharmaceutical PR, okay? I know what the fucking science is. In fact, I probably know the arguments against astrology better than you because I actually know what I'm talking about. But I get it. You like being certain makes you feel good about yourself. Certainty is fucking boring, Anton. I'm sorry that this always happens to you. If you ask me, that sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like pizza, wine, traveling. Because those things are fucking awesome. Jill, I just called you. Car's here. Where? Hey, where are you going? J Hello? Jill, Jill, come on. 60 seconds, okay? Come on. What the fuck? 255, Ted? Yes, please. What the fuck are you doing? 60 seconds, okay? I'm going home, Anton. Look, all right. So get the fuck out. <laughs> you can't dump all that shit on me and then just walk away like that. I can do whatever I want. Sir, if she wants you to get out of the Look, car... Mind your own it. fucking business. Fuck, ma'am. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Anton, I'm... I'm tired. Okay? I'm done, so... Just get out of the car. You're right. I'm right. What you said. About how I was using the argument, like arguing about astrology, how I was trying to hurt you. You're right. It's like I'm in a thick fog or something, like I'm drowning. I'm gonna grab something, like, a, a, and there's this thing that I know, like, I know I'm right. And that's all that matters. And it's like, fuck everyone else, because I'm not gonna drown. I don't deserve that. And it's stupid. It's so fucking stupid. I mean, I show up to meet some girl. And it's just like every step of the way, I just want to turn around, just go home, you know? Like, fuck it. Fuck this. All the others turned out to be a waste of time, so why should she be any different? But I show up, say hello, smile, buy you a drink, try to make you laugh, run down the checklist, you know, just kiss you. Doesn't matter. It's just another girl. Just another magical night where anything's possible. It's a lie.
because I'm terrified. And I'm lonely. And I'm angry. It never works. Nothing ever fucking works. It works for everyone else. So why doesn't it work for me? the best first date ever. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I said. Because you're right, I don't know you. I don't. And that was horrible. <sighs> what you said to me? That took a lot of courage. and gave me a lot of courage. So. A sparrow and a star